Hey, okay, we're live. <clears throat> hey, what's up, everybody? Uh, Alex Hernandez here, and in this video, we're going to talk about a tip on saving some money or paying off some debt. And this tip has really helped me and my family when it comes to our personal finances, and I want to share it with all of you. And so if maybe you guys want to, again, uh, I'm a mortgage lender, so if you, if you want to buy a house, right, you want to, you want to buy a home, uh, but you are typically stranded because you either don't have money for a down payment or maybe you don't have or maybe you have too much debt in your name and you need to either save up for a down payment or maybe pay off some debt which is both things that i see on a daily basis where with you know helping our clients and so this is what i suggest now typically this is how most 99 percent of people manage their finances currently is when they work their job so this right here is your job your J-O-B, you make money, maybe you're paid bi-weekly, so maybe every two weeks or something, with whatever. We're we're not, if, if you're kind of out of the norm, maybe you're self-employed or something different than this, you can still kind of maybe tweak this to you and your situation. But this is you. Currently, that money comes in every two weeks, and what you're doing is you're putting that into your checking account, right? So this is your checking account, and let's say just whatever, this is 100% of your money going into your checking account. That's great and all, but um, what happens is you end up, if you have the money in your account, you typically spend it if you're like me. Uh, so what I suggest you do, and if again, you want to pay off some debt or you want to save some money, is to set up a savings account. So you're going to see right here, set up a savings account that is not where your current bank is, meaning this right here, your 100% where all that money is kind of going into. Because the reason is, is if you have that money there, you open up your, your banking app and you can see your savings account and you can see your checking account, it's very easy to tr transfer the money over if you think you need that money. And so it's important to add an additional step to make it maybe deter you just a little bit from using this money. So what I would suggest is I like using Ally Bank. Um, it's an online bank. And I just created a savings account. I like it because there's no minimums. And so you, what I do is you can take 10% of your paycheck, right? And you're going to divert 10% into the savings account. And then you're going to have 90% going into your checking. Now, what you're going to do is you're going to live off of this 90% right here. You're going to live off of this. You no longer have this 10% anymore. And so when you set up your, your banking and, or your budget for your house and your, you know, living expenses on a monthly basis, maybe to pay off your debt or whatever, take, you want to now get used to using only 90% and not the full hundred percent of your income. So what you're going to do is you're going to forget it. You're going to forget this 10% is even, even, it's even there. And the nice thing is, is when you get paid every two weeks, you, you're not going to, you're not going to see it. You're going to get used to it. So then what I want you to do is once you set this up, you know, over the next month or two at 10%, what you want to do is you want to make a goal to slowly increase the amount that you're putting into your account. So then you're going to go to 15%, right? Then you're, then you go up to 20% and then you can keep on increasing this as, until you're, you know, where you're happy and you're going to use this money to either pay off your debt or, for your down payment. So anyways, I hope you guys found that very helpful. If you guys have any questions about your financing options, you know, you can call me or text me anytime at 435-680-1513. And we can look over all of your financing options and see if we can come up with a good game plan. So anyways, I'll see you guys in the next one.